Hello students, today we are passing on to a new topic, chapter 11, water resource. This topic is allotted 10 marks in board examination. Before we start discussing, let's see what is there in the syllabus. Sources of water, surface water and underground water. Need for conservation and conservation practices like rainwater harvesting and its importance. Irrigation, importance and methods. These are what we are going to learn in this topic. Water is a resource. Why? Because as you all know that India is an agricultural country where soil and water is of great importance. India has various types of fertile soil but to support agriculture water is essential. And as you all know that the rainfall in India is unevenly distributed. So hence identification of the source of water is essential to ensure that there is regular supply of water which is known as irrigation to the agricultural field to ensure consistent agricultural production. So hence water resource means natural range of natural water on the earth for survival of living beings. Students you should know that 97% of the water present on the earth is ocean water whereas fresh water 0.7%, ground water 0.7% and rivers and lakes streams makes up to 0.03% and as far as agriculture and drinking is concerned saline water is not suitable fresh water is essential so hence it is very important to identify locate and use the available fresh water reserves for the productive purpose like agriculture and drinking basically there are two sources of water one is the surface water and the ground water water on land in the form of streams rivers and oceans are surface water whereas the ground water which is collected under the surface of the land remains in the soil or the subsoil or the bedrocks which are known as the aquifers are underground water so students there can be a question in board examination asking you to differentiate between surface and groundwater please make a note of it students as you all know that increase in population is resulting in massive industrialization and urbanization which is resulting in the depletion of water so hence the available water resource need to be taken care or conserved. There can be a question in board examination asking you to give reasons for conservation of water or why should the water be conserved. The reason is lowering of water table due to over exploitation of underground water. Students as you all know that because of the rapid urbanization there is demand for water and as you all know that the surface water from the lakes and rivers are contaminating so hence man is targeting the underground water but this underground water is being continuously tapped so hence the aquifers or the underground water table is going dry secondly loss of vegetation due to clearing of forest has resulted in low rainfall students you all should bear in mind only the rainfall can recharge underground water so massive deforestation or clearing of forest which can have adverse climatic effect and this can result in failure of monsoon. So as a result all the source of surface water can go dry and massive urbanization can hinder the seepage of rainwater and the underground water table cannot be recharged hence the underground water table can go dry. Thirdly, out of total fresh water available, 90% of the fresh water is used for agriculture. So, where is the water for drinking? Where is the water for other purposes? So, hence, as agriculture is the first and most important priority, water need to be taken care or conserved. 
As mentioned earlier, increase in population has resulted in over exploitation of water resources. Water in lakes, ponds and rivers has got contaminated due to population. This is because river water is being used as the source or the mode of drainage where the industrial waste is being left contaminating the fresh water sources. So hence conservation is very important. So there are various conservational practices in India like conservation of water means management of water resources. Conservation of water is must you know to ensure supply of water for drinking, supply of water for irrigation and supply of water for industrialization. So these are the three main requirements for which the water need to be conserved. There are different ways to conserve water. Number one, rainwater harvesting, watershed management, recycling of water, protecting water from pollution. So these are the ways and methods to conserve water. And among this, rainwater harvesting is been given more importance and priority nowadays. Rainwater harvesting is nothing but collecting and storing rainwater in rainwater harvesting devices. And the important aims of rainwater harvesting is harvesting surface and groundwater to prevent loss of water through seepage and evaporation where the water accumulated is systematically and fruitfully used. So the systematic use of limited water resources is the aim of rainwater harvesting. And the fourth aim of rainwater harvesting is to make an optimum use of rainwater. See, rainwater harvesting mechanism has different names in different places. For example, Western Himalayas, the rainwater harvesting device is known as Kul or Katri, whereas Gangetic Plains are known as the Bolis or Digis. Central India called as Johad, Deccan Plateau, it is known as the Kere or Bandharas. Western Ghats, they are called as Surangam. Eastern Ghats, known as Korumbu, Ladakh, Zinc. So these are all the traditional names of rainwater or rainwater storing mechanism in India. There can be a question in board examination, like what is the need for rainwater harvesting in India? So rainwater need to be harvested because rainfall in India occurs in short spells of high intensity. That means the duration of the rain is very less, but maybe the intensity of the rain may be more, which is not sufficient to ensure in uh, long term supply of water. And at the same time, rainfall is also not evenly distributed. <clears throat> greater surface runoff due to lack of storage and as you all know that lack of storage where the rainwater on a large scale is just allowed to flow where rainwater is not stored and this is causing surface runoff soil erosion soil depletion a productive soil has been washed away and agriculture ultimately suffers Watershed management. It refers to management and conservation of surface and groundwater. Keep in mind, watershed management refers to management and conservation of surface and groundwater. This is important board examination point of view. They ask you a question, what are the aims of watershed management? Aim is prevention of surface water being depleted storage and recharge of underground water so storing rainwater to recharge underground water is are the two important aims of watershed management and how is watershed management being done construction or digging of percolation pits recharge wells bore wells and dug wells so water can be allowed to store in these devices to ensure presence of water at the time of scarcity. 
you can see water harvesting mechanism this is known as the catchment where the water over vast geographical area is stored and there is a pathway which is known as the conduit through which the water is allowed to flow and the water is again redirected into soak pits or the recharge pits where the bottom of these tanks are unplastered the rain water is allowed to accumulate and this again seeps into the underground water table ensuring the recharge of underground water so this is an excellent mechanism that can help in conservation of rain water what are the elements of rain water harvesting number 1 catchment number 2 conduit the pathway where which redirects the water into the storage facilities this is the storage facilities which is made up of reinforced concrete or a natural depression into which the water collects then recharge facilities which is known as the storage tanks that allows the water to seep into an aquifer so installation of reinforced cement concrete in the basement of building or installation of pvc tanks above the ground level to store water or the rain water these are all the effective methods for conservation of water especially rain water the remaining will be discussed in the next upload of the videos thank you students